Why did the Cholas invade the Sri Vijaya Empire? The Chola Empire, which lasted for nearly three centuries, had very vibrant trade links with the Chinese and Southeast Asian regions. But suddenly in the year 1025 AD, Rajendra Chola, one of the Chola Empire's most powerful emperor, sent a massive fleet to invade the Sri Vijayan Kingdom. It counts as one of India's rare maritime military maneuvers. Why did the Choras have to attack a country on the other side of the Bay of Bengal? Here's a look at the geopolitics of Asia in the 10th and 11th century. At the end of the 10th century, maritime trade boomed between the Song Empire in China, the Choras in India and Fatimids in Egypt. There were two main sea routes through the Strait of Malacca, controlled by the Sri Vijaya of Sumatra, Malaya, and through the Sunda Strait, controlled by the Javanese. Not surprisingly, the two were bitter rivals. In 1016, the Sri Vijaya defeated the neighboring Javanese and sacked their capital. This left Sri Vijaya in control of both sea routes and soon began to exploit the situation by exacting exorbitant rolls on merchant ships. The Indians responded. Rajendra Chola probably sent a small naval expedition to Sumatra in 1017 as a warning but returned in 1025 with a much larger fleet. This fleet made its way into the Strait of Malacca and systematically sacked Sri Vijaya ports. Finally, Chodas decisively defeated the main army in Kadaram, now of Kedah province in Malaysia. The raid significantly diminished Sri Vijayan power. The Chinese who had earlier backed the Sri Vijayans against Javanese did not do anything in support of their vessels. It is possible that the Chinese were just as annoyed at Sri Vijaya's rent extraction and had an understanding with the Indians. The Sri Vijaya too seemed to have accepted their reduced status. They continued to send ambassadors to the Chora court and participated in a joint diplomatic mission to China. When a Chora naval fleet returned to Kadaram in 1068, it was in support of a Sri Vijaya king against his local rivals. The Turkic conquest of India and Mongol conquest of China and West Asia dissolved the old geopolitical equilibrium in the 13th century. But the naval expeditions of Chora would be talked about many centuries later.